Hello, Team Leo. It's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. And what else? Um, I will not be extending this reading. For those of you, I am short on time, again, due to the holidays, guys. But if anybody wants a personal reading with me, the information is down below. So let's get into it, Leo. This is the second, no, this is the third time I'm trying to um, do your video, by the way, okay? So I had to delete it. Don't ask. It was just like a lot of technical issues, but I just started from scratch again for you, Leo. And what I'm seeing here, this is your to love tarot card reading, by the way, guys. If anything else comes up, I will let you know, okay? So... There is a connection now that you're no longer investing in. You have pulled your energy back. You're looking at, you know, you've invested way too much of your time, your energy, possibly your love with this connection here. And you, you're realizing it hasn't bared any fruit. You're also, you're, I feel like a lot of you are questioning this person if they have been lying to you, um, why they keep sneaking away is what I'm hearing. I feel like this person goes cold on you a lot, Leo, or they, like, you just know there's something hiding beneath the surface of this person, okay? Some of you, it could just be this person, it's like they're not very open with talking about themselves, but I feel like you're, you are, you went through with someone who is not emotionally available, Leo, okay? That's the thing. They're not emotionally available, they keep leaving you out in the cold, Okay, they keep making you feel like there's lack in the connection, like things could get better and then they get worse again. So there's a cycle that you are breaking. You're in the midst of breaking. Okay, and there's a lot of sadness here that I'm seeing, Leo. So you might have like had like a crying fest literally like recently and you possibly um, you you were really disappointed about this. Okay, but. I feel like a lot of you are listening to your intuition as you're pulling your energy back from this person or you already did, Leo, because you're realizing this personal, this person that you're dealing with is not emotionally available and therefore now you're pulling back everything. You're pulling back your energy, your emotions, everything. You're walking away, okay? I feel like a lot of you are walking away from this journey. We'll get in further. With these cards, with these tarot cards here, I'm going to get into the one per this person you're dealing with. And for those of you who are new, and then this is the, um, this is your energy, but feel free to swap it the way it makes sense to you, okay? This is your love story, so you would know. So let's see. Um, I will, when I was pre-shuffling, I keep getting the devil card. So it, this could be an unhealthy attachment that you have built around this person. This person also could be in lower vibe energies. But let's see, okay? Let's see. Or they could just be Capricorn. <laughs> Leo, okay? So let's see what's going on. Spirit, what can you tell us about Leo's person? whoever they're inquiring about, okay, yeah, wow, interesting, okay, There's a lot of hidden um, things in this connection on this person, okay? I feel like, um, Leo, this person, <clears throat> they come, they keep coming in and out of your life, okay? And I, I, what I see here is that this person does view you as someone, they view you as someone serious. Like, they, they think of you as... You're the type that wants to build a home. You're the serious type, whatever. I do see that, okay? They view you as this. But what I'm seeing here is that every time there's a talk about something serious or 
something deeper, this person pulls back their energy. Then they get scared. I feel that in the past, this person is, they're not willing to take a risk when it comes to do with this. And I feel like it has a lot to do with um, this kind of cycle of the in and out, okay? There's this in and out cycle of you and this person. I feel like it's on their part. I feel like they're the one who keeps coming in and out. And I do see that this person, it's like they're very flippy floppy. Like they're... I don't even, is that even a word? Okay, that's what I heard. Um, but this is someone who is definitely, like they're not balanced. They're not balanced in their own life. So therefore, when you bring up anything that is like talking about serious talk, right? It's like they avoid it or they fight with you or they make up an excuse to not, you know, they make it they make up any excuse leo to not talk about that not deal with that some of them just walk away i do feel like this person like you feel le you feel led on by this person that's the problem here you feel led on because they might be in on their good days they might be treating you like you are the queen of coins okay gender doesn't matter here but they might be treating you like this but what from what i'm seeing like, you might have been waiting for an offer or they feel like they should be giving you an offer of some sort, okay? Like a solid offer. And now what I'm seeing is that, like, there are hidden feelings that this person has not expressed with you, okay? They haven't expressed th these feelings f with you. And I feel that in the past, especially, this is past energy, um, I don't think you're dealing with them right now, Leo. A lot of you have already walked away from this person, no longer investing in this connection. Zip zero is what I just heard, okay? So this is someone who you probably feel like they took you for granted, okay? They didn't know your value is what I just heard. Um, let's get into this deck, okay? Just make sure. Spirit, what do you need Leo to know? This deck. Okay. Wow. <sighs> okay, so they said that... Spirit's saying here, you're expecting some good news, okay? I feel that a lot of you... Okay, I don't see that this is... Um, Okay, you're expecting some kind of news from this person, okay? Or maybe a talk or maybe a text or whatever it is. I feel like things are stuck because you're still expecting something bigger than this person, okay? So you might have put this person on a very high pedestal, Leo, okay? And Spirit's saying here, use your wisdom, okay? Use your intuition, because at this point, um, that would be like a miracle, okay? That would be a miracle if this person, I'm not saying they wouldn't reach out to you. That's not what they're saying. But some of you have to accept that this person is the way that they are for now, okay? Even if you're not dealing with them, okay? But let's see further, spirit. Yes, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm getting, you keep getting stuck because you're expecting this person to be more than what they are. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So this has to do with acceptance, Leo. Okay. And I feel that a lot of you have been stuck in the cycle of just, you know, hoping, praying this person moves, changes, whatever, but from what I'm seeing here is that that's the cycle you need to break, Leo, okay? That's the cycle you need to break. So you can move forward, okay? And you are being guided by intuition, your intuition, Leo. So make sure you dig into your, you know, go within, take a break from everything, make sure, because I do see that after you hold back from this person for some time, 
Um, it's going to be different for all of you. You're going to have this like aha moment where you're going to know exactly what to do. You're going to know exactly where to close out the chapter. Look at this chapter, um, death card and tower. Okay. The chapter is closing for you. And what does it have to do with? It has to do with you dealing with the BS of this person. Okay. So I'm getting different timelines for different Leos. Okay. So it depends on how far you've come in your practice of acceptance. Okay. No longer waiting for someone when they keep repeating the same patterns. Okay, Leo, some of you know what I'm talking about. This person, every time things get serious or things are spoken about where it's like, oh, are we official or something, something that means that you both are serious or you will take it to the next level. This person pulls back their energy like nobody's business, like what even has to do with plans. Like, let's say for the holidays, like even the holiday plans are a big deal with this person. Okay. So what spirit is saying here, it has to be, um, this chapter has to close out. Okay. And it's up to you to close it out. Don't let spirit close it out for you because it's not going to be pretty that way. Okay. A lot of you know that this person doesn't value you and therefore you need to value yourself when you pull back your energy, <clears throat> okay? Um, what, okay, this is, a, this is a special message for someone because I do see somebody that keeps praying and praying, but they're not changing their behavior, okay? So it's like, I do see spirit really wants to help you with your romantic connections, guys, but I'm seeing someone praying, but they're not really doing the work. They're not doing the inner work, okay? They're not tapping into their power of what they can manifest, okay? This has to do with manifestation. So tap into that power, okay, as you pull your energy back, Leo, okay? But let's see further about this person because I feel like, okay, they want me to pull a healing card for you. Hold on. I'm going to pull a Crystal Angels card for you, Leo. Spirit, what does Leo need to know for their highest and best? Okay. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Clear quartz. So there is a lot of energies you need to clear out, okay? I feel like some of you, you could have been... Like, this person could have really toyed with their emotions, not intentionally, guys, okay? I don't want to say intentionally, but I do see that. And it's saying here, your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages. Okay? So pay attention to what you're feeling, you know, and clear those lower energies out, okay? Heal them. And this is opal, let yourself sparkle and shine, okay? Show your, you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Yeah, you're big, Leo, okay? So this is, this is about you showing yourself and all of you, okay? So maybe some of you have been tippy-toeing around this person and the more you do that, it's, you feel like the more they take advantage of you, okay, in the past, or maybe now, I don't know, some of you, maybe you haven't left this person yet. I know a lot of you are going to decide to move away from this person. Look at this. This person also got this in reverse, okay? The death card in reverse. This is definitely a, a connection that needs to close out, like for now, okay? It doesn't mean forever, but this is definitely something... That is unfinished business between you two, okay? There's unfinished business. That's what Spirit is saying. But that has a lot to do with you and them being apart in order to realize truths about yourself, Leo, and them truths about themselves, okay? So let's see. Anything else? How does this person feel for Leo? Huh, interesting. Okay.
Okay. Wow. Yes, very complacent person. This person is very complacent. Okay. This person could be self-centered. Like they could have that type of personality that they're, they might have seemed selfish. They're not making any moves. Leo, this is very interesting for you. And the reason is, is because they were so used to you making all the moves. They're so used to you, like, um, coming forward to them all the time, trying to fix things, trying to mend things. And it's like, they got so comfort. They got too comfortable. Okay. This person might think they're an emperor and they're not, okay? But you have probably treated them like emperor. Like I said, you put this person on a pedestal, Leo. And as you really, um, like, interacted with this person, and this is definitely a soulmate energy, by the way. This is a soulmate energy, Okay. But this person has been wanting to be on their own. I feel like even though they take from you, they still, there's no giving here or very minimal. And every time, like I said, things get serious, it's like, so definitely you've been putting this person on a pedestal. They're waiting for you. Look at that. They're like, yes, Leo will come back again like they always do. And, um... They'll just figure it out. You know, they're going to come back. We're going to get back together. It's not over. Right? They keep thinking that. And that's why this person doesn't take the initiative. That's why they don't approach you. It's because you're doing, you've been doing all the work, Leo. Okay? Anything else, Spirit? We need to know how this person feels, thinks about Leo. Not to get me wrong, some of you, this person loves you, okay? I do feel it. But regardless, like, what love doesn't have to do with what we're talking about right now, okay? Um, Leo, I know this, this might sound like a tough love message today. But, yeah, this person doesn't want to fight with you. That's what they said. So this person that you're dealing with, Leo, I feel that, yeah, definitely. Yes, like I said, they are emotionally unavailable, okay? This person is emotionally unavailable. And they have too much pride to try to come towards you and fix this thing. And they're not willing to invest, okay? You have to be willing to invest regardless of what you have. Even if it's very little, they have to be willing. So I feel that... At this time, this person is not willing to invest and all the other things I stated. They're waiting on you, Leo, because you put them on a pedestal. So they're used to you coming back always. You trying to fix things. You trying to get their attention. You trying to, you know, whatever it is, okay? So I'm going to see what's coming in for you, Leo, okay? Let's see what's coming in besides this person for you. Because some of you have already walked away from this person. You're not doing any more chances with this person. Okay. Let's see. What's coming in for my Leo spirit? Okay. Okay. I feel like spirit is really giving you strength right now not to reach out to this person. So for those of you who you were guided not to reach out to them, you're doing the right thing, not reaching out to them because you need to focus on yourself now. They don't want you down and out like this, okay? Like bored. Like what do I do now, you know? Um, I feel like somebody will come in, someone new, Leo, Okay, I do feel like somebody new will come in. And it's like you're you're gathering up the strength. You're being strong, okay? I know it's hard for some of you, Leo, because some of you are heartbroken by this person. But I do see somebody new. Can you tell us about the new person spirit? Okay, hold on. New person, Leo. Okay. No. Spirit, new person. Who is this? 
Okay. This is interesting. I feel like this, someone is going to come in and really give you strength, okay? This could be someone that is related to your in your neighborhood or someone you meet maybe in your neighborhood or what, that you meet at work, okay? Yeah, they're going to come and give you a positive perspective about what you've gone through. They're going to help you heal some way, okay, guys? So I don't know if this is a romantic person. It could just be someone that can you can be friends with or whatnot. But I am seeing someone kind of like, it's like give you really good advice or like just boost you up because maybe you feel down, Leo, lately, okay? Yeah, this could also be, guys, some of you might get like a really good promotion, okay? A promotion um, or what do you call it? A bonus, okay? We call that a bonus um, here in the States, okay? Some kind of money is coming your way and it's going to help you um, like... This definitely is um, some kind of really good information coming in. Some kind of, I feel like it's news, okay? I feel like it's news. And we got a king of cups on the bottom. Guys, I feel that there's someone that is going to come in. Um, but it's like they're, they're, they're waiting for you to be ready. It's someone new. I don't feel like it's this person. Or it could be this person coming around a different way, but you need time to heal. Okay, Leo? Um, I hope that this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bells. If you like my vibe and style of reading, let me know in the comments how you resonate with the story, with this love story. I wish you all the best, Leo, and peace out.